Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode Number 7. Very excited about this one. I think the last episode that I reacted to was my favorite episode from this season so far. Granted, we're only 6 episodes into the whole show as total, but I love the world building in last episode. Introducing new characters in every single episode, especially this early on in a show, is a really, really smart decision because it really just gives you a sense of what kind of people live in this world, what kind of people are controlling everything, and obviously we've gotten that with the Fire Nation kind of taking over all of these smaller villages, kind of nestling out all of the other airbenders, earthbenders, waterbenders, and, and stuff like that. I really like the idea of that. And the world that we have for this show is, is so compelling. I'm loving all the characters. I'm loving the storyline in this show so far. I think it's absolutely amazing. So I'm very excited to check out the rest of this series. But before we get started, I just want to say if you guys are due to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications. What if you guys want to do to support the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to see the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that I have up on the channel, you guys will find it here on my YouTube channel on my membership page. So if you guys want to check that out, I would greatly appreciate it as well. And today's video is brought to you guys by Audible. If you're into reading like I am but can't find the time of day to do so, Audible is the perfect solution to that problem. Audible has brought many of my favorite books to the digital front in a way that makes the story that much more enjoyable and immersive. If you guys are interested in Audible service, a link will be down in the description below that will give you a free 30-day trial as well as up to two free audiobooks of your choice. So thank you to the kind folks over at Audible. So with all that said and done, I'm super excited about this episode. So let's go. Okay, the Spirit World Winter Solstice Part 1. So, is this going to be like our first arc of this show? Because obviously with shows like the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, other Dave Filoni episodes and shows, you kind of have like a period of like four or five episodes where a storyline goes on. And we haven't really seen this with the show quite yet. Obviously we had the first and second episode that were kind of Zuko coming to, their, to the Water Tribe and trying to capture Aang, but we haven't really seen a, a big a big period piece yet for this show, so quite excited. Hey, what is that? No, I was gonna say, is it all burned down? Listen, it's so quiet. Fire Nation was most likely there. Why would anyone do this? How could I let this happen? Aang, you didn't let this happen. Uncle Iroh! Over here. <laughs> He's just chillaxing. I heated it myself. <laughs> Get out of the water. Very well. On second thought, why don't you take another few minutes? <laughs> These acorns are everywhere, Aang. That means the forest will grow back. Hey, who are you? When I saw the flying bison, I thought it was impossible. Are you the Avatar child? My village desperately needs your help. I felt kind of weird. I don't know, is this like a trap or something? So the rumors of your return are true. Maybe not. For the last few days at sunset, a spirit monster comes and attacks our village. He is Heibai. Heibai? Once the solstice is here, there is no telling what will happen. I think you can do it, Aang. Yeah. We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Earthbenders? The once great General Iroh. But now, he's our prisoner. Development in the plot! Yes! I hereby ask you to please leave this village in peace. Looks like it worked. Okay. No, I, 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 I don't like that. No. You must be the Heibai spirit. My name is... Okay. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Excuse me. Would you please turn around? I command you to turn around now. Well, he turned around. That's it. He needs help. Saka, go back. 
We'll fight him together, Aang. I don't want to fight him unless I... Oh, Sokka's dead. Uncle! Uncle, where are you? Those rocks didn't move naturally. My uncle's been captured by earthbenders. What the hell? Sokka! I failed. So now Sokka's like really dead. Yeah, I was gonna say he did that to leave a trail of some sort. I would be shocked if the Avatar returned without him. Prepare to be shocked. The sun is rising. Perhaps he will return soon. What? No, I'm right here. What's happening? I'm confused. I'm in the spirit world. I thought that was it for like a half a second. I was like, there's no way they're ending it there. Saga? Definitely not Sokka. Is that a dragon? <gasps> what? I can't airbend in the spirit world. Uh, yeah, big dragon. You're Avatar Roku's animal guy. I was gonna guy. say. What's the problem? Wait, how can he see it? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, is that Roku? This is just a statue of Roku. Oh, now, now I'm just an idiot. Is that what Roku wants to talk to me about? It's a calendar, and the light will reach Roku on the solstice. So that's when I'll be able to speak to Roku? Yeah, he didn't think that through, did he? I agree. He must be dealt with immediately and severely. The way up it just glides straight. Like, no wings, no, no leg up and down. Just straight. So where did Sokka go though? Like, is he in the spirit realm as well? I was gonna say, that's dark. Why am I rooting for them in like a weird sort of way? had burned I was sad and upset but my friend gave me hope that the forest would grow back that's a big panda Sokka! and there's something else yeah what is, what is this what's the comet thing but the solstice is tomorrow yeah and there's one more problem the island is in the Fire Nation. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big problem. Who? I'm telling you, the stakes are really starting to up themselves. The characters, obviously, more development, but the world building is just phenomenal. Uh, like I said in the intro, us going to a different place every episode, and it it showing us those kind of people that live there. And all of that factoring into the actual story of that episode is a really, really genius idea. And I really like that. And we're starting to get little hints of, uh, you know, backstory from Iroh and, uh, and uh, not so much from Zuko yet. But we know his relationship with his father isn't the best. So I'm very interested to see how all of that's going to play out. Obviously, they have to go to the Fire Nation island, I think they said at the end um to go to go get in contact with roku so i'm very interested to see how this dynamic is going to work but 
Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications. Whatever you guys want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to see the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that I have upon the channel, you guys will find it here on my YouTube channel, on my membership page. If you guys want to check that out as well, I would greatly appreciate it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will see you all in the next one.